Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today, I got a special Ranger vlog for you. And yes, I know, you're probably like, Hassan, who? Who is this guy? Where has he been? What? You probably even forgot all about me. I know, I know. Um, I know I haven't posted many videos lately. I know, and I want to talk about that but I don't want to waste people's time for those that don't care. So I'm going to talk about something special first, then I'll tell you all what the plan is for my channel and the videos and all that and what's going on in my life. So I'll update you all later in this video. But first things first. Today, it was revealed what the Power Rangers movie suits look like. So uh, here's a picture from uh, Entertainment Weekly, and these are the official suits, the Ranger suits, for the Power Rangers movie in theaters March 2017. Uh, we've been waiting so long, you know, we knew who the cast was, they've been filming uh, the movie for, for a, a while now, and we saw Elizabeth Banks as Rita Repulsa, so uh, we have her in costume as well, so here's a picture of that. Uh, so we've seen her in costume, and we've seen a lot of set photos and everything too, so there's a whole lot happening. Um, and so I wanted to do this Ranger vlog to kind of talk about the movie, and, and in particular, the suits. The Ranger suits and the Rita Repulsa suit, all of that. So, um, I have the, the picture of the Rangers right here, and I just want to look at it. So these just came out, and, you know, the, the first thing that came to my mind when I saw the suits for the movie is, this is pretty much exactly what I expected. I, I, I Pretty much. I, I don't know what else people expected, to be honest. Uh, these are pretty much like you take Power Rangers, modernize them into 2016, and this is what you get. Like, this, it, it's no surprise to me. Like, I looked at it, I was like, oh, okay. I wasn't like, oh my gosh, these are amazing, and I wasn't like, these suck. I was like, oh, okay. Sure, why not? Like, I, you know. They, they look kind of neat, um, I'm not like, I don't know, I, I think my first impression when I first saw them was, okay, interesting. The more that I look at the picture, the more I'm starting to like it even more. Um, but let, let's kind of digest this a little bit. So first of all, they definitely modernized it a lot. They have more, it's almost like armor all over them, uh, rather than spandex. There's no spandex this time around, which... I expected at least because the Power Rangers movie, uh, in, in back in when did the movie come out? Ninety five or so? I don't know. Um, they had like armored suits in a way, like it was the, it was the classic Mighty Morphin suit, but more armored style, right? So they kind of took that same sort of thing, and that's what I expected. I expected a more armored look to it. Um, there are some elements of this suit that are similar to the older suits, and then they really came up with a, a newer design to it as well. So, first of all, the helmets, right? The helmets. Each of the helmets is based off of their dinosaur, uh, which is obviously how the Mighty Morphin was. So you can, some of them are more clear to see than others. For example, the T-Rex design for the Red Ranger, the Pterodactyl for the, for the Pink Ranger. Some of them, like the Blue Ranger, I really don't know how I get Triceratops out of that. that that's a little, I don't know. Uh, the helmets I'm a little iffy on. Uh, some of them, like, I really like the Red Ranger one. Some of the other ones I'm a little iffy on. Um, but they do look a little interesting. Uh, one thing that I wonder, because the, what they've said about the suits, is that they're really emphasizing the fact that these are... They're really going to morph into these suits. So you're really going to see a transformation. So, it, like, the suit will almost attach itself onto their skin kind of. Um, and you can kind of see that in a way. If you look, you know, underneath the armor is kind of more like the 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 body of the suit in a way. Um, and if you kind of take that and, and run with it, I almost wonder if the mouthpiece is actually not a mouthpiece, but it's like their mouth, you know, like transformed. So like maybe the mouth actually moves. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I to, to be honest, I think these designs, I think it would actually be kind of cool if the mouth did move. Uh, just looking at these designs, I think that actually would kind of fit. If it doesn't, you know, not too big of a deal, but I think that'd be kind of neat. And then going down, you have the chest piece, right? And so, obviously for Power Rangers, they all have their, 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 the chest piece there. They have like the, uh, 
the, the diamond or whatever from Mighty Morphin, right? So they kind of stuck with it, although it's got like this glowing like purplish thing inside and it reminds me a lot of like, uh, you know, some people are comparing it to Iron Man in a way, but I'm almost comparing it to like the spark of a transformer. It's like their like inner like soul or their something powering them or I don't know. So uh, what they've said is this is definitely like, you know, alien technology or whatever, which I mean, Zordon, I mean, all the, they're all aliens, so it all fits, but they're really kind of emphasizing that. And, and it looks kind of interesting. So um, I dig it. I think, I think it kind of fits. And, and uh, in a way, like it's almost like uh, electric inside and you know, if you take the Power Rangers lightning bolt and electric and it's, I don't know, like it just kind of, it, it fits, I guess. Um, you also do have somewhat of a belt buckle. There's like the, the little piece where, you know, normally they have the power morpher and everything. Uh, and so there's something there and it is colored, but for each ranger color, um, but I don't know exactly what, what is, you know, inside of that. Uh, but it's interesting. Um, then, you know, the rest of the designs are, are pretty generic, um, for, for the rest of the suits. There's not much more to them. Um, so they're, they're all really interesting with the way they are. Um, the, the full colors, the shoulder pieces, all of that is, is really interesting. Um, so I would say overall, I think, I think they'll look pretty cool. Overall, I think, um, the designs are neat and, um, I'm excited to see them in action. You know, I think... This is, it's great as a promo image here, but I want to see more of the suits. I want to see them actually being used in action and everything. Um, definitely pretty neat. And then we also, of course, have uh, Elizabeth Banks as Rita Repulsa, uh, and we've seen her suit as well. And for her, we've actually seen her in a lot of uh, set photos, so we kind of have seen the suit in action a little bit more. And now hers is a radical departure from the Rita Repulsa costume that we all know. Uh, so whereas the Power Ranger suits, obviously you look at them, you can tell they're Power Rangers just from the color and stuff, you know. They're more like futuristic Robocops, kind of, but you can still get the Power Ranger vibe. Elizabeth Banks as Rita Repulsa doesn't really look like Rita at all. Um, but I kind of dig what they're going for. Uh, and she actually does, in the set photos, we've actually seen her with a staff, which is a little bit like her Rita Repulsa staff, although much more scaled down a little bit. Um, but, you know, so she does have her staff, and I feel like that's kind of iconic and that's classic too, and, and I'm glad that they do have that. Uh, her design, though, is pretty different. But to be honest, I kind of like it because the full Rita Repulsa design, like with a massive suit and everything, like you're not going to see her out in the battlefield fighting with that, you know? So this kind of makes it seem like she's going to be fighting more, and if we've seen set, you know, the set videos and set photos and everything, she is going to be out there uh, fighting the Rangers more. So that kind of makes it more interesting. Um, but also it's green, right? And everybody, I'm not the first person to say this, I'm probably the last person to say it, there's, there's so many uh, people making this connection, but in, in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, she, the Rita Repulsa had the Green Ranger, Dragon Coin, everything, right? It was evil, all that. So her having this green suit is kind of, you know, maybe it's a hint, like does she have the Green Ranger powers or will she develop the Green Ranger powers? Like I, I think, I'm, and I'm hoping, that that's what they're hinting at and I'm hoping they're, that they're going to make that connection with the Green Ranger powers and all that. Um, and I think from what Elizabeth Banks mentioned one time in a tweet or something, she said that the fact that she's wearing green, uh, there's a reason for it or something like that. Or, or she said, she's like, hmm, interesting question when, or something like that. So I, I think they're hinting at that. And I think that makes sense. And for that reason, I kind of dig it. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, it's definitely going to be a modern take on the franchise, right? And I think there's a lot of people that have to realize that this is a movie. This is not a TV show. It's been a long time since we've had a Power Rangers movie. Maybe people forget. I don't know. Um, but the movie was a little different than the TV show about way back when. But this is going to be even more different because whereas that movie... Sure, it was out of the Power Rangers continuity. It was still very much fresh where Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is on TV. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie in theaters. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers hasn't been on TV in a long time. They're bringing it back. This is a reboot. This is for the uh, uh, the you know the modern times, right? This is this is a reboot in the vein of Transformers and Ninja Turtles and everything. And so they're really gonna you know have classic uh, nods to things, but it's gonna be a whole new thing. And I'm excited about that, especially because uh, if you saw set photos, there's like the street signs. 
say like, uh, what was it, Ocean Ocean Bluff? Is that what it is? I forget. And then uh, Reefside, I think, is one, which is like from Dino Thunder. So like a bunch of the cities from the other Power Rangers seasons are like street signs in the movie. So it's like those little things really give me the faith in knowing that if they're taking the time to put in these little nods and, and little uh, uh, teasers and cameos to to the series, right? They don't have to do that. Like, who, why would they take the time to do that? But it shows that they appreciate the franchise with these like, with these little things like that. So that's exciting. And, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to this movie. I'm, I'm really excited about this movie. You know, these suits, the more I look at it, like the more I can imagine like these suits in action and how epic and cool it'll look. And like, I'm just imagining the, the Ranger team going, I mean, I hope they say it's Morphin Time. I hope, that's classic. But then see them like transform with these suits and everything, like, it gets me so excited and, and I can't wait to like see the showdown between the Rangers and Rita Repulsa and everything. Like, I, I'm, I'm just getting really hyped just thinking about that now. These suits, uh, I actually think they're pretty cool like overall. In fact, the more I look at them, the, uh, the more I'm really starting to like the way that they look. Um, you know, they're not perfect, but I think they look really cool and it'll be pretty cool toys that'll come out of it too, so that'll be fun. Uh, but I'm excited about this movie, definitely. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section below. What do you think of the Ranger suits? What do you think of Rita Repulsa? Are you excited about the movie? Not excited about the movie? It's coming up less than a year. And, uh, you know, they've been filming. So in the next few months, maybe a Power Morphicon or something, we'll probably get our first, you know, teaser trailer or trailer or something. Uh, and I'm so excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so I can't wait for that. So anyways, I'll probably pop in from time to time and do some Ranger vlogs to kind of talk about the big things that are revealed with the movie, maybe for when the trailer comes out or something. So it'll be fun. I'm excited about it. And I hope you guys are excited about it too, because it's Power Rangers' chance to kind of back into the mainstream and and uh, yeah, should be interesting, definitely. So uh, that's that for this Ranger vlog. So for those that want to stick around and want to kind of update you on life and what's been going on with, with uh, uploading videos and all of that, Life has been crazy busy. Um, so much has been happening. If you missed a previous vlog of mine, um, I got engaged. So I'm getting married uh, later this year. So there's all this preparation and all that stuff. I mean, that takes time and everything. Plus, been so busy at work. It's, it's a huge time at work, been, been so busy. Um, and uh, our office was you know, acquired by another. I mean, we changed computer systems, everything. I mean, there's so much work happening. And so, um, it's required me to work a lot of extra hours and everything. Um, and then the time that I do have off, like I need a breather or something, you know? So it, it's been a challenge for me to be able to record videos. And then what I've, what I've tried to do uh, is, so for those that watch my channel for Pentatonix videos, my Pentatonix concert that I'm going to is next week. Um, and I've been working on a video called My Personal PT Experience Part 2. It's a follow-up to the My Personal PT Experience video I made last year, and I want to finish that before my concert. That's a major video, and it takes hours upon hours of work, and I've been working hard on that. So that's also been taking up my time. So, I know, to get down right to it, right, you guys want Power Rangers reviews. I have recorded some reviews, okay? I've recorded some Dino Charge, uh, Dino Supercharge Power Pack reviews, uh, now this was before the Dino Charge Scanner app updated, so I know it updated. I will have to do a follow-up video at some point about that, uh, but I have not edited and uploaded those videos yet. I will do that hopefully in the next week. I don't want to promise a specific date because things have been hectic. I will hopefully do that within the next week. Um, then I have a backlog of stuff that I'll be trying to get through. Late May and in June, I should have a lot more time and I'm going to be cranking out videos like crazy. So. I apologize for the delay. Please be patient. Bear with me. I have a lot of videos that I've been recording and editing, and there's certain videos are more time sensitive, meaning I have to really upload them quick. Like I, I got a, uh, a video to unbox a custom controller, um, and so I really have to get that out soon because it's a commitment that I made and everything. So um, things like that. So I, I do have lots of Power Rangers reviews coming, and I wanted to release this Power Rangers related video to at least get that out there, let you know I'm excited about the movie, I'm excited about what's happening, and so I have more reviews on the way. Just please be patient a little bit longer. I apologize. And then you're going to get so many videos back to back. It's going to be crazy. So anyways, that's that. Hope you guys liked this, uh, this Ranger vlog talking about the suits and everything. I'm excited about this movie. It's going to be good. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you later. 
I was looking at the stuff for Pentatonix and them going on tour. So this is like their, their uh, you know, spoiler alert, I guess, but this is like a Pentatonix on tour. And it reminds me of like Power Rangers Turbo when they're passing the torch, right? And the Power Rangers just appear from up above the, the little, uh, uh, whatever they were standing on. But it's like all lit up like Ranger colors and there's Pentatonix right there. And it, it reminds me of that. It's like, oh snap, Pentatonix is the Power Rangers. Like what's going on? Uh, and then it reminds me of, um, oh, I'm yellow. Um, yeah, it reminds me of uh, the Pentatonix Power Rangers that I made them too, which is kind of funny. But anyways, I just had to mention that because I saw that picture and I was like, oh my gosh, it's Pentatonix Power Rangers. It's kind of cool. Uh, anyways, hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.